Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Darwish Zone. And this is a very important video is uh, about uh, a new test on the Raspberry Pi 4 to see what are the improvements on the let's say last year from this platform you already know a video I made uh, about this uh, matter how the PI4 um, perform with uh, the, the typical emulators uh, offered by RetroPie so in this new video which you can consider a part 2 second part of uh, the, the video I've already done I just evaluate the improvements on the many emulators on the PI4 because uh, there was many of them on the last months and uh, you already saw on my projects uh, this video consider this video uh, standalone because it's very important to to understand the improvements that the um, the coders made to the emulator to works at best on the system like the Raspberry Pi 4 which is started a little there's some hassles, some troubles uh, with the system overheating problems and uh, many other things but things are improved uh, during time through time and now I I can say it's very bright scenario because I can I can't say without doubt that uh, the PI4 is a uh, one of the best platform from uh, retro gaming and is way better and improved compared to the PI3 B plus which is still a great uh, machine per se but the PI4 uh, just uh, takes the lead and um, step the, the, the flag ahead so is um, raise the bar so um, without uh, further review let's um, let's go into the systems typical system offered by RetroPie of course this is based on my works on my projects there's many emulator emulators uh, into the RetroPie repository which uh, are about uh, the platform that I don't uh, I don't follow I don't explore so the the system that you will see on this video are not at all all the systems that RetroPie can manage the system you see are the system of my interest but I can assure those are the best system you may wish on the PI4. So let's start with the 3DO. The 3DO which is governed by Opera emulator, Libretro Opera, was one of the, the system with uh, the um, most assholes and the, 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 the scenario is not perfect even now. But uh, as you can see on my project, uh, I picked 23 games that works very good but the, on the entire 3DO uh, set I can say um, all, half of the, the games works properly so not the entire set but um, whoops a good part of them of course remember always remember that the PI4 need some uh, overclock to works uh, with system like 3DO, Saturns and uh, some other one where the old, the old system you can just uh, stick with the default uh, clock so So the games on 3DO, uh, the games that you see there works well. For example, the Street Fighter. I'm not going to do um, intensive gameplay 
on this video because this is not the, the, the focus, this is not the target. This is Street Fighter 2. Okay, just some some second of gameplay. You can see it works good. Move on, Amiga. So the Amiga is one of the system that uh, benefit the most on the PI4 because before it was governed by um, Amiibo emulator, is which is a good emulator, but it's not uh, an under RetroArch architecture. When now we have the P. PYE under Libretro, which is uh, and give you some some benefits compared to the Amiberry, and the games works uh, faster. Okay, same thing for the Amiga 1200 which is uh, the AGA games, which was um, uh, more taxing at the time, but the PYE just uh, managed those also those well, even at uh, full HD resolution, it's very great. Same thing for the Amiga CD32, which is some um, bonus benefits, because the PYE can now manage the CHD compressed ISO so uh, it's a good advantage and the games runs good I only show one Amiga game because I'm strict on time like for example the disposable hero so now basically the PoE can manage I repeat the Amiga uh, 500, the Amiga 1200, the Amiga CD32 and also the CD TV which was a pretty obscure system by Commodore basically an Amiga 400 with the uh, CD-ROM added The boys with our brains Okay, move on. Move on, guys. Okay, the Amstrad CPC, no problem at all. Was never any problem with this uh, old system. Uh, 84, even the PI3 uh, can manage this great. So uh, things are more or less the same. No, not need to show. The arcade, this is very important. Look at the, the, the gargantuan set, the retro machine set, almost 200 and uh, 2000, sorry, and 800 of games. Okay, the arcade set is a 
there's many 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 rooms available but uh, of course the pi cannot manage all the the rooms available for me because there's uh, recent games uh, which is too much evolved to be managed by a little machine like ipi but But now games like um, Outrunners now works. Let's check if the emulator is correct. impressive because this game uh, have a lot of uh, problems with the PI3 Button. <laughs> okay, I have to set the the controls into MAME about the games. As you can see, it works. But let's push further with the 3D games, polygon games, which is a hot hot argument on the arcades on PI, for example, the Tekken. Now you can emulate games like Tekken on MAME. It's great on the PI4. Tekken 2 and that case. Oops. This is wrong emulator. I think I need the, the MAME 2010. Okay. very good very good so another game that you can only dream on the pi3 okay move on so the arcade is very improved because you have a, a wider choice of games the Atari 2600 is uh, just uh, great on the pi3 like 4 and same for the Atari 520000 nothing to see there well to be honest the, the emulator for the 5200 is very improved and very doable the Atari 7800 the links works great the, the, the handle by Atari Atari ST is more or less the same and not all games works because the emulator is very not so advanced but uh, is uh, a, re a, a retro arc emulator so you can use uh, the, um, the overlays for example so it's good I have uh, some 200 of uh, peaks but of course the set is, is way bigger than that is more than 2000 of games the Commodore 64 just shine on the 
uh, PI4 just like the PI3 but there's uh, mm, some little different because now you can play all the games on full HD for example without uh, any problem the CDTV is more or less the same uh, uh, same words as the CD32 the Coleco Vision just butter, butter smooth Daphne and in, um, that definitely doesn't have any problem on the PI3 just like the PI4 there are just uh, laser games with uh, input by the controller so nothing uh, nothing too complicated for and the Dreamcast uh, so we we enter in the hot zone because the Dreamcast is uh, probably the, the the system that benefit the most on the PI4 no doubt about that Okay, let's be precise, uh, the, the Windows uh, CE games doesn't work on the uh, Dreamcast emulator which is called the Flycast. The Flycast just uh, runs on the same uh, Raycast engine but unfortunately doesn't support the Windows C games and there's around uh, 100 of uh, Windows CE games that just not works there like for example Resident Evil 2 or old Tomb Raider released on Dreamcast but aside that there's many Dreamcast games that you can play now and it's great like for example Shenmue one of the best games Sonic Adventure Come on, Sonic Adventure. Select a menu. Select a file. On another video, we video, I will teach you explain how to uh, clean the, the memory cards of the drinkers, which are uh, virtual on the flyest, of course. Select a character. I think it can, can be very useful to to clean the memory cards of the Dreamcast because otherwise some game maybe uh, report some error. Okay, this is one of the first uh, Sonic 3D with this uh, realistic world. The game runs good, not like before, so it's great. Move on. Game Gear, no problem there, and just like all the hand, just works great on the PI4, like the PI3, and same thing for the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance, uh, some games have a little problems on the PI3 because the, 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 the Game Boy Advance is a very uh, advanced handle for the time when it was released but now all is resolved and the whole game basically works great Game Boy Color no problem at all because it's just a Game, game Boy a little, a little improved Amstrad G, 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 GGX for 4000 and this is one of the new machine with uh, which are uh, now finally supported by the PI4. It works very bad on PI3 and not anymore. Works great on the PI4. Only 22 games for this obscure console by Amstrad. But it's great to have. I very, I very 
glad to have this system now finally because I just wished for it for a long time it's even too fast okay so no problem for the GX4000 television my first system no problem at all works great okay Sigma Master system works great there all green on my screen the Mega Drive no problem at all MSX no problem at all no need to spend words or time or videos or test on the MSX which works great Naomi this is uh, just deserve some attention because now the Naomi is arcade based no Dreamcast uh, address so it's the same thing like the Dreamcast works great basically uh, all the the Naomi released games included the DOI DOA DOA 2 Dead or Alive 2 Just think now we are the the the, the chapter 6 and we played the chapter 2 on the retro machine It's basic this arcade I think I have to wait the, the, the end of the sequence, otherwise just a reboot from the start. We already saw the splash screen. Oh damn, I don't have time, sorry, but the game, the game works. Move on, Nintendo 64, this is one of the most... Uh, hot systems to be emulated because it was very problematic on the PI3 and things unfortunately are not completely green on the PI4 too because some games just uh, have uh, problems unfortunately but around uh, 100 uh, of games works good the games that you see there let's try something okay it's not perfect but you can play most of uh, greatest releases for the Nintendo 64 not all the game set but a, la a large part, let's see. Unfortunately, is not completely fluid. was not good at all let me see if we can prove things changing the emulator maybe I remember better performance to be honest I'm not on maximum overclock and maybe this game need uh, over 2000 megahertz Okay, things not change much, it's a little, little better maybe I 
Okay, it's a very hit and miss with the Nintendo 64. Maybe I have not picked the best game to show. <laughs> but move on, Neo Geo. The Neo Geo no problem. All the Neo Geo set will create. The lights was the same with the PI3. The Neo Geo CD works great, like just PI3 and PI4. Mm, this time you can play those games on Full HD, where on the PI3 it was better to stick with the HD ready resolution, you know. And yes, no problem. Neo Geo Pocket Color, no problem at all. Open Bore is, is a little improved, to be honest. It's not exactly the same because I've noticed there's a uh, some um, vertical sync for example which was missing before so it works a little better and I love this system you know I love it because I show I show often on my videos and it's incredible the, the, the level of creativity that the the guys which works on this games are remember that all these games are uh, fan-made games for example this scenario is uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm almost sure is a scenario from the Barney fight just expanded for the widescreen MS DOS DOS. I'm proud of this system. I've already. Oh, we have uh, an empty entry. I've already showed this uh, on my previous uh, video. Okay, it works great, but I don't have the, the, the keyboard now to show <laughs> the games. The PC Engine no problem, the PC Engine CD no problem, works great like before. Ports, uh, this is uh, not easy to, to show because ports are many, uh, you can edit the games you want. Uh, games like Half-Life for example uh, works very good with the, on the PI4. The PSP, ok this is important, this is another system. Uh, to be honest, the, the second system probably after the Dreamcast, which benefit the most uh, on the PI4. Before the PI3, it was only uh, just mini games, things like that. But now the the set is very expanded, and uh, most of games you can play without problems. The problem is for me because I cannot show you a games which are licensed game sense of music so I have to pick a game which without uh, copyright and music and I don't remember at all <laughs> let's see if we can we can work on, on, the, on it The emulator is PPS SPP. There's also the uh, the, um, the RetroArch version, but the the standalone version works uh, a little better. So I suggest to use this instead of the RetroArch version, with some uh, little tweaks, which is better that you set before play. Like for example, let's skip the introduction. We don't have time, this is so Calibur Broken Destiny. There's a lot of 
characters. Setsuka. Well, I can also uh, choose the uh, the outfit. I don't think there's a story. No, oh, it's a quick match. Sorry. Only the strongest will be chosen. Okay, now uh, things get funny because you have to go into the PPSSPB emulator and uh, check those options to start the frame skipping. This is important because if you is this option is linked to that one, is very recommended to play the PSP games at least at uh, two uh, double resolution basically compared to the original resolution so two four but in that case the frame rate will be hit so you you need to enable the frame skip and set frame skip two at least but this uh, can makes the games less fluid so it's important to set also auto frame skip in that case the, the emulator will cut the frames only if uh, if the, the engine uh, go to stress if not the games doesn't lose any whoops it will be over before you know it as you can see the difference is, is dramatic compared to the original Battle resolution one. look Fight. seems seems almost so modern games it's so fluid okay you have to consider now that i can i run my pi4 at 1750 megahertz overclock but you can push the, the pi4 uh, up to over 2000 of megahertz and game more performance just look how fluid it is with the, the double resolution and the frames keep enabled it's crazy I'm very speakless guys the PSP is just great on the PI4 the PSP and the Dreamcast are the two systems that benefit the most ok the PlayStation nothing much to say there the PlayStation works great on the PI3 but uh, you better to stick to this, uh, the HD ready 7 to 0 pixel and now you can run the PS6 games at full HD and uh, you can enable the enhanced resolution this was better to to turn off on the PI3 but on the PI4 you can have way way improved image quality let's see for example there's a lot of PlayStation games here. well let's try check Okay, the option you have to check is there. On options, you have to check this. An enhanced resolution have uh, enabled already. Must be set on. Very impressive, guys. Look at the difference if I disable the option, it just deserves to be seen. Just night and day. So, PSX with an instant resolution with on full HD. For this record, I have uh, on uh, 7 to 0 pixel resolution, so maybe you can improve 
farther but move on the Genesis 32X it works great just like before the Sega Saturn this deserve attention because this is another system that very improved over time not all games works uh, in fact most of 3d uh, games produced by Sega doesn't work properly but you can run uh, a larger part of 2d games and also 3d games you cannot expect uh, a full speed on some games like Cigarelli or Die Hard Arcade but it works uh, it's surprising with the Yabasan Shiro emulator you, you have just you can just stream uh, a, a Saturn on the PI3 no way at all and now it's a uh, reality This is Die Hard Arcade. And the volume is uh, just a little slow, but there's... I just lowered the, the audio for this video, so... maybe it's not full speed but it's very good guys so the Saturn in my project I have 27 games which I prefer the most but you can add just you want the scan VM the scan VM works uh, works great and you can run this time some of uh, residual VM which was very hard to to run for the pi3 but no huge difference to be honest Sega CD is more or less the same super graphics only five games work so great super nintendo no problems just to show snes cd no problems because are just uh, SNES games with an enhanced soundtrack at the Sharp X68000 works great like before the Sinclair TX works great so Atomic Wave is another system that deserve attention because just like the Naomi uh, works on Dreamcast base so uh, it, uh, great with the flycast emulator k so those are the tabs bonus tabs of my project don't mind them super famicom okay i that's all the desktop mode which now with on the on the pi4 is a very doable you have a full desktop which works thanks to the at least uh, to the gigabytes of memory of the pi4 which is very more efficient compared to the pi3 okay guys so we're done for today and let me know what you think i think the pi4 is very very improved and now is a a uh, reference platform for the retro gaming because you can uh, also rely on the huge community and support that uh, millions of people over the world give to this great platform so i'm very satisfied i hope you are too and uh, we catch up on the next one bye bye